so today I'm going to talk about my approach to programming for backing slash deadlift. I really think of them as kind of the same thing. Even though I am training specifically for a powerlifting meet right now, I really think that considering the impact of your powerlifting training on individual body parts and vice versa, right, how training individual body parts is going to affect your powerlifting, I think that's really important. So I'm gonna show you my whole deadlift workout today. It's a deadlift slash back workout. I'm gonna explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how it kind of affects me and how it fits into the bigger scheme of my training. So I've already talked about how I'm using cluster singles on deadlift. Today I had programmed 10 total singles. Uh, I, I do like to kind of mix things up for a little extra intensity. I do uh, one set all together at the end. So today I did, uh, I was supposed to do, supposed to do all 10 singles with uh, 305 kilos. I did this first set with, uh, I did these first five singles with 305, then I did a, a slightly heavier belted single uh, with set, uh, 320, and then I went back down to, to 305. So for those of you who work in pounds, that's uh, 666 for my singles and my, my AMRAP set, and then uh, 705 for my belt single. So very, very happy with that. Uh, I did try Granite Supplement's new uh, pre-workout today. It was pretty intense for me, a lot more intense than I normally go. So I was a little hyped up, as you can see. These are just singles. They're pretty light, but I was I was fired up. So uh, you can go back and watch the earlier videos if you want to see my why I use those cluster singles. But instead, I'm going to talk about uh, the, the other things that I'm going to show you later on in the video. So... When I'm programming my deadlifts, I really try and include for accessory exercises the things that I know bring my deadlift up. And for me, those are front squats and that's upper back work. So front squats I find actually are one of my best assistance exercises. They help not only my deadlifts because I use a lot of quad off the floor. I'm very quad and back dominant. So I use, use a whole lot of quad off the floor. And so strengthening my quads with real deep front squats is very, very beneficial. For the same reason, I find that the front squats really help my uh, squats as well, but that's kind of tangential. So that's why I include the front squats. I try and train them fairly conservatively, so I never go to RPE 10 if I'm using them as an assistance exercise. I try to keep it somewhere in the 8 to 9 range. That means that I'm ha I really, for the most part, should have 2 to 4 reps in the tank on every set that I do of front squats. And that was definitely the case today. I felt really, really good. I'll talk a little bit about how I program sets and reps later for those. I just kind of want to focus on the overview today. So that was front squats. Uh, I think those are straightforward. I think most people understand why front squats or any type of squat is going to help your deadlift. I'd rather focus more on my upper back work, what I do for that, why I do it, and why it helps. So recently I've been doing this really nice superset for my back. Uh, it's a wide grip pull down to the front to pulling that all the way down to the upper abs. That's what I do for uh, my first exercise on the superset and then the second exercise is an inverted row that really I'm not using a total full range of motion on. I'm really focusing on the mid back and those rhomboids, which not only helps me keep my shoulder blades and my lats in a good position on deadlift, it does the same thing on my bench press. And I'll show you those exercises later, but the reason I like them is because A, they force you to use fairly light weights. I think that's very important when you're choosing assistance exercises. It seems to me like a lot of people go hard as fuck on their assistance exercises and they don't save any energy for, for their next workout, for their compound competition lifts. And that, in my opinion, is a big mistake. Wide grip pull downs when you're pulling all the way down to your abs and inverted rows, which are just difficult to begin with, they force you to use fairly light weights, especially if you're doing them for high reps. And so while they train the muscles that you want to train, they are not going to exhaust you as much as something like, uh, let's say, a heavy barbell row might do, or even a heavy dumbbell row for that matter. So I really, really like those two. I only superset them to, to get through my workout a little bit faster. My workouts tend to take a while, honestly, because I tend to chat a little bit in the gym. I try to have fun with my training. I think that's very important. But that means I can be there for over two hours. And so supersetting just helps me go a little bit faster. And again, it's going to force me to use lighter loads, which I honestly think is a good thing when it comes to accessory exercises like that. <clears throat> the last exercise that I'm going to show you is a reverse hyper. I do these much, much differently than most people. I think most people do them in the classic West Side style, which is a little bit more of swinging the weight uh, and trying to get a little bit of traction on that lower back. And that can be beneficial. 
but I honestly find that it's better if you do these very slow, very controlled, maybe even with a slightly smaller range of motion and really, really focus on getting the glutes and lower back to contract uh, in a way that you want, because I think that's going to be able to, uh, that's going to help you to be able to put yourself in a much, much better position um, when it comes to your, your squats and even your deadlifts. We're getting pretty close to the end here, so I do just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Granite Supplements. They have a big relaunch of new products coming uh, next week, starts June 18th. Uh, so I, I really encourage you guys, if you're looking for new supplements, go check them out. Uh, they're, I've gotten to try them ahead of time. They're really, really good products. And as a kind of celebration slash self-promotion, if you want to snag any of my programs uh, for the next month, they're all going to be 25% off with the code RELAUNCH. Uh, so I'll include a link to that in the description below. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. You know, I, I think I've been getting really good feedback on the voiceover videos that are just showing my training. Those are honestly really easy for me to do compared to some of the, the hype videos. So I'm going to keep cranking them out. Um, but if you do have feedback or you have anything else you'd like to see or anything in particular, please do let me know in the comments. Till next time, take it easy, guys. Think smart. Train hard.